Hello and welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop, your one stop for co-op news and playthroughs. I'm Peter and tonight we're playing through Marvel Champions. What's up, Mary? Oh, not a whole lot. Looking forward to some Marvel Champions. Yeah, it's been a while since we've had you on ever since uh, X-Men first came out. Although, I will say, have there been any releases since then? I don't know that there had. Oh, was that before Spiral and all that came out? Uh, I'm trying to remember now. I don't know. I <laughs> my brain has been like so concentrated <laughs> on uh, dealing with all my work stuff. So. Gotcha. Yeah, but uh, I remember last time we played, you were playing Colossus. Colossus but guess what? I was playing uh, Cyclops, and I'm still playing Cyclops. Although, to be fair, this might be the first time I played Cyclops since we last played. Uh, you said you were going to do Captain America leadership. I'm like, yeah, we could do a leadership-themed deck. Uh, let, let's do that. Although I didn't do leadership. Um, I did justice. Um, but I did a leadership-themed deck, at least, anyway. Um, have you played much Mojo? Um, I've played through it a couple of times, once solo, and then, um, the other time with some friends of mine from work, but I haven't really had a lot of time for Marvel Champions for the last, like, month. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, good. We'll get you. It it'll be awesome. <laughs> you will be Rusty, and I will be me, so this should be a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, buckle up and prepare for a wild yes. ride, everybody out there, because, uh, nobody knows how this is going to go, especially us. Uh, now, let me ask you, have you tested your deck? Have you played it at all? Oh, yeah, this is kind of my semi-permanent cap deck, so. Oh, okay. Well, I have not. So, just, <laughs> hopefully that makes you feel better about where I'm coming from. Haven't even thought about it. Uh, I mean, it, to be fair, it's not really that complicated of a deck. It's a pretty standard justice deck with a uh, heavy ally build. Um, so, and we'll talk about uh, what we're doing in a minute. Oh, did I even take out... Do I have a card? I think I'm supposed to have a card, right? Or no? Oh, no, 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 no. I get a card later. Yep, this is going to be fun, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, my optic beam comes out later. It does not start in play. Uh, I, I knew that. I knew that, everybody. Like, nothing to see here. Um, I wanted to play Mojo just because we've been playing such long scenarios lately. I feel like we've been going pretty late. And I feel like Mojo is at least a decent length scenario, not a ridiculously long one. You mean Spiral? Or Spiral, yes. Well, anybody from the Mojo campaign, really, uh, I feel like is is about the right length um, when you're looking for something, mm -hmm. you know, a little shorter. But we will see if that is true or not, because I can make anything long. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, as far as... Uh, so do you, have you only played this through his campaign, or have you played these as one-offs before? Uh. Only, nope, I have played as one-offs, yeah. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's not much different. I think they do a good job of making the campaign not too overwhelming, uh, and I like the three-scenario format of the campaign, but, um, yeah, I mean, it, uh, certainly easy and fun enough to do as one-offs as well. The only complaint I've heard about this one is because you need the environment cards, you can only do it with the sets that are already currently in the mojo pack right now um you can't uh, this scenario specifically you can't really right. bring in a different modular instead of one of them because you need those environments um because of how his mechanic works or her mechanic works i guess yeah um but i think we got some fun ones we did randomize it before we got in here we got uh the comedy one or sitcom one mojo in the middle we got the wild west one and we got the crime one so a little bit of everything. Honestly, I don't remember what all of them do, um, but we'll figure it out. This one, apparently each friendly character gets thwart and there's insight. This one, each enemy attack gains overkill, uh, but when we take damage, we increase it by one or when any character uh, takes damage. So that's us or them. We increase it by one, which is great when the enemy has overkill. Oh, that's going to be awesome against our ally heavy decks. Uh, hey, remember how I said don't worry about his her extra attacks? Yeah, 
<laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see if Wild Wild Mojo is in play. We may have to get rid of it. You know, normally when she's revealed, I don't even bother getting rid of any of these. But if Wild Wild right. Mojo is in play, that might change. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and then each obligation gets an acceleration icon and we'll get um, potentially uh, lots of obligations then. All right. So we are going to start with Mojo in the middle where obligations get acceleration icons. That's not a bad one to start with. So... If you haven't seen Spiral before, the way she works is right now she can't take damage until we find her. She's going to be in one of these environments. The way we get to these environments is we search for Spiral over here. She's hidden. Once we remove six threat from here, then we get to flip over the next card. But we can, just for fun, take a hero action to take two damage and remove three threat from here. And I don't think they've said anything about like changing it, right? You could do that multiple times on a turn and just like totally kill yourself. I mean, I've done it. You laugh. I've certainly done it. Uh, well, certainly with Wolverine, especially. Uh, is that true, though? You can do that multiple times? Um, I don't know. I'd assume since there's nothing there, and if they haven't already put an errata out for it, that, yeah, you could. All right, cool. Kill, kill myself it is. Um, so Mary, let's talk a little bit about your Captain America deck. You pulled out a few cards for us. So what's the theme here? Um, it's a shield deck. Okay. Um, mostly it's built around recurring Nick Fury and Maria Hill. Um, that's why I've got rapid response. Um, the Nick Fury, Maria Hill. And then since it is a shield deck and they're constantly going to be popping in and out, um, yep. Sky Destroyer. Gotta gotta have a Sky Destroyer. Yeah, I mean, drawing extra cards is good. And unfortunately, you're Maria Hill, and I've got that stupid leadership card that makes me always go first, so guess what? I may never play this game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that way, at least 50% of the time, I can benefit from Maria Hill coming in later. Um, and my deck is pretty uh, heavily ally-focused. Uh, the big thing is Sunfire. He, uh, she has these swords that come into play, which are really annoying, that attach to her. So Sunfire, when she comes into play, I can spend a lightning resource, choose an attachment with the text, hero action or hero response, and discard it. So hopefully she can get rid of that. If I, if I don't have Sunfire in my hand at the time, I do have Pixie, which after you play Pixie from your hand, add an X-Men ally from your discard pile to your hand, so I can go searching for Sunfire. Uh, Psylocke's also pretty good. When you play Psylocke, attacks an enemy, remove a counter from her to confuse that enemy and deal a damage. The reason that's important is on this side, she doesn't really do anything. She just always schemes, even if you are, um, she would normally attack you. But on this side, she's going to be adding uh, teleport counters to herself every time she activates. So anytime we can stop her from activating stuns, confuses, that is good for us. So um, that was kind of the theme there is to, I figured Psylocke would be good at uh, doing a little bit of extra confusing there. Did you want to go first or you want me to go first? I guess um, I, we have to decide before can, we draw, unfortunately, I think so. I can, I can go first. Cool. Just in case I get Maria. Yep. That sounds good to me. Exploit weakness. I get two of them. Well, those are two easy discards on turn one. They're great later in the game, um, but we don't need to increase damage on someone we can't even attack from turn one. <laughs> I do have Utopia, which is nice. All right, I think I'm going to do Tactical Brilliance, so I'm going to discard Practice Defense. Um, yeah. All right, so draw four. Oh, my gosh, you know what I just realized? What? I didn't put double resources in this deck. <laughs> yep. It's going to be fun. <laughs> All right. Well, I do have an X-Jet on turn one. I may just have to burn my whole hand to play it. Uh, it's fine. Nothing to see here. Yeah, I definitely don't have double resources. We'll see how well this game goes. <laughs> oh, it's a Peter Deckard. If Terrence was here, he would literally force me to take out my double resources and put them in my hand right now. But I'm not doing it, Mary. I'm not going to do it. 
<laughs> oh, that is All hilarious right. that I totally spaced on that. That would have been sadly no Maria Hill. Ah, uh, you got R&D, which isn't terrible. Oh, you have Helicarrier, which is even better, and Sky Destroyer. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think first off, I am going to flip up and play Fearless Determination. Mostly so I can draw a card. You get plus one thwart. Nothing wrong with that at this point. Yep. Let's see. Oh, this is hard. Um, use his helmet. Make the call. And shield toss. Helicarrier or Sky Destroyer? I mean, maybe both, right? Other than you'd have to get rid of your shield, so... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I think I'll go with Sky Destroyer first. Okay. Um, just because now every time I put a shield in... Yep. Or wait. Because mm -hmm. can't, we can't damage her anyway right Correct. now. Yes. So, yeah, never mind. I'll, I'll do the Helicarrier. Okay. Um, and then I'll use the Helicarrier to put out his shield. Yep. And then, um, you want me to start working on the search for spiral? Yeah, I mean, you could even do it twice if you wanted to. Didn't mind discarding R and D or. Yeah, I'll do that. Discard R and D, yep. stand back up, and. So caps yeah. action, discard a card from your hand. Ready, Captain America. You can only do it once. So she did that. Thwarting for three because of whatever that card was earlier. That gives you plus one thwart this turn. Thwart for three once. Stand up. Do it again. All right. So search for spiral says force response after the last threat is removed, which that would be doing. Um, the player who removed the threat reveals the top card of the show deck and places three threat per player here. So we got to pick up to six. Oh. Cornered. All right. We found her. Yes. So cornered says when revealed, flip her to her cornered side. Hey, remember how you said we couldn't do damage? Now we can. <laughs> Uh, this will call us her when revealed text to activate, which she doesn't have here. But just as a reminder, when she goes to stage three, she definitely does, which is when revealed spiral attacks each player in play. So we will have to remember that. Um, uh, reveal the top card of the show deck and then shuffle this card into the show deck. Effect can't be canceled. All right. So let's see. What do we got? Uh, each enemy attack gains overkill, which is wonderful. <laughs> Now I got a question. Um, with your other side, you're, you make allies cheaper, right? Right. But uh, reduce the cost of the first ally played each round by one. But I assume that's while you're on your other side. You can't, yeah. It won't help me now. All right. So each enemy gains overkill, and when a character takes damage, increase that damage by one. So that's double terrible bad. Um even though I'm a thwarty character, I may try to... Well, I may actually just try to get rid of, like, six. We may get cornered mm -hmm. again, which would not be perfect. But if we don't get cornered again, we get one card closer to cornered. And, like, we're... Get rid of this garbage. Either way. Yeah. Uh, you, you, uh, you with me on that? Yep. So I do get to search for a tactic upgrade... I do have those, thankfully, because they are in my deck. Um, yeah, we'll take the practice defense. Uh, let's see. So, I think I'm not going to go Angel right now, even though Angel only costs two. Uh, I'll do practice defense. For justice. And mission training to put in the X jet. Um, oh, you got to be flipped. Yep. Um. Well, to use it, I got to be flipped. I don't yeah. think to pay for it, I do. Uh, so I get a wild oh, resource. Right, yeah. Um. I think I do. Angel and X jet to do tactical brilliance. 
which will move, move three from a scheme. And then I get to pull a tactic card back out. So I will pull out practice defense as my tactic card, which gives them minus one attack, which seems good. We'll go ahead and attach that to spiral. Uh, it is temporary, so we'll be gone after this round. But hey, one round of getting hit for less doesn't seem bad. Yeah. Um, so I, that removed three. So I'm going to remove three from here, which you already did. I'm going to take the two damage yep. to remove three more from here. So I'll bump it back up to six and reveal a different one. Dial M for Mojo. Um, so I believe we're supposed to flip this face down and put it on the bottom of the deck, if I yes. remember correctly. Yes, yeah. Um, so this environment is each of the encounter cards gains insight one, but we all get plus one thwart. So that's fine. Hopefully we only have to take two encounter cards this turn and that will be two extra threat, but we do go up to 30 on the main scheme. So it's not the worst thing ever. Uh, I probably will just thwart off this since I have an attack of one, <laughs> which doesn't seem good. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and thwart this down. Uh, I mean, the other option, I guess, would be to start working on this, but eh, I'm good. All right, so okay. let's go ahead and ready up and draw up. I have a hand size of five, so I can draw four. Oh, sweet. Oh, when I played Tactical Brilliance, I did. I did draw a card. Never mind. Yep, we did all that. All right. Ooh. Yep. Hey, look, that's a double resource and a super yeah. soldier serum. <laughs> And a shield block. I mean, yeah, I, I hear double resources are good. Um, all right, <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and I, not only do I not have a double resource, I also don't have, um, like, power of justice or power of, like, whatever. Yeah, no power of. Ah, so the black dog says, GE, no resources are rough for beast uh, if you have him in the deck. I don't have uh, beast in the deck. I thought about it. Um, but then I remembered I didn't put in double resources. No, clearly I didn't remember that because I just, I just figured that out now. But yes, no, no beast in the deck. Uh, I thought about it though, but beast was four. I was trying to keep my ally cost down, uh, in this one. So that is part of the reason I did that. All right. So spiral is going to go ahead and attack you for two. What you going to do? Um, oh, actually only for luck. one, actually. Um, one plus a boost because of practice defense. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll use a shield block for that. Use a shield block? block. Yeah. All right. So, ooh, that would have been a boost to three. Good job on you. There is a retaliate one on that. Yep. So, bam, Spiral. You just got hit in the face. Oh, I got plus one thwart, so I actually would have thwarted for three, but there was only two anyway. Um, all right. So, now I'm getting attacked. Do I defend? Nah. Eh, nah. It's only one. Plus two. Is it a total of three? One, two, three. To my face. Oh, and then we should have put a teleport counter on Spiral for each of those. So she now has two. Yes. And when she gets to four, she will flip back over and be hidden again. But we've already gone through one card of her deck. So we got that going for us. All right. So go ahead and take your encounter card. And we have to remember each of these has insight one. So we're going to add four threats to this side scheme. That's nice about having uh, a permanent side scheme, right? Yeah. Yeah. We don't uh, have to go finding another one. Yes. Oh, well, guess what? Insight one again. Uh, hinder. Well, at least it came out in that order. Because obviously we don't want um, we don't want it to be the other order. Uh, the villain oh, right. cannot take damage. Yeah, because then we would add add four to this one also. Uh, one revealed, place a threat for player here. The villain cannot take damage. Hero action: spend X fist resources to remove X threat from this scheme. I mean, that doesn't seem worthwhile unless you just have extra fist resources sitting around, right? Yeah, which I don't. Yeah, that's a... I mean, I guess I have um, X-Jet, so if I really need to, then I can X-Jet that, that extra fist on there. But, seems to me that 
Uh, Sense of Justice would be good here. Utopia would be good here. Pixie would be good here. I don't think I have any allies in my deck. In my discard pile. Oh, I do. I have Angel. Ooh. Huh. So, I need more cards. <laughs> <laughs> Priority target. Uh, if I could defeat him. He only has 29 life left. That seems likely. But what you need are double resources. <laughs> I mean, you know, double resources are so last week. Um, all right, we're going to X-Jet and for justice to pay for Pixie, which will bring out Angel. I think for justice has to be the play. Like, I got to get as many resources as possible and just keep holding Utopia. Right? Yeah. I think that's the play. Sense of justice. Hey, I got two resources. Who needs double resources? Overrated. <laughs> Overrated. Uh, all right. So she can thwart for one or attack for two and kill herself. I think she's going to thwart for one, but I actually believe that's two, right? Because of M for Mojo. And we'll, yep. st we'll start working on this one over here because Dragnet seems not great. Uh, so I thwart for three myself. So let's go ahead and take three off. And uh, it's down to two, which is one more than you need it to be. Uh, but it's fine. All right. Uh, okay. I am done. Go for it. All right. I'm going to use my double resource to put out oh, the yeah, Super Soldier Serum. Oh, yeah. Show it off. Show it off. Look, I use my double resource. Double resource. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then I'm going to use both of those with um, Shield Block to bring out the Sky Destroyer. Yes. And normally that would do damage now. So did you want to thwart first before you do that? Oh, uh... Actually, yes, yeah. Before I play that, I will, I will thwart. Yep. And then play the Sky Destroyer, which does then activate, dealing two damage to the enemy. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. I need my practice defense back. We don't get to keep, uh, keep that on. All right. So let's ready up and draw up. And unfortunately. I still got Utopia in my hand. I'm really waiting for a double resource. Um, I hope that comes one of these days. Which anybody who's been listening knows that it won't. Uh, so that's two. Uh, Spiral is going to attack. I am going to chump. Actually, should I have gone down? I was the last to activate. Um, should I chump for you? And go down? Hmm. Mm. Just to draw an extra. I, I guess I already drew my card. So never mind. I will chump with Pixie. Uh, there's no overkill on this. So Pixie did her job. And then you get attacked. You doing anything? Um, I will just take the hit. All right. So it's going to be two plus another three for five. Ouch. Uh, you do retaliate for one. So we got that going for us. But it, that does mean we added two to this, so it flips spiral. She is now hidden again, because uh. why wouldn't she be? All right, I'll take my encounter card. You can grab yours. We flip it. Uh, first things first, we are going to add a threat there. Then discard an upgrade or support you control. Well, that... I hate that card. <laughs> that is no good for me. But done. Done. Oh. oh, boy. Hey, look, more side schemes. Uh, crime scene investigation. So hinder one, so it's going to have seven on it. My goodness, these seven threats. Threat cannot be removed from other schemes. Spend X mental resources to remove X threat. Great. You think as an X man that I would be happy about X threat, but X threat doesn't seem to be removed any more by X men than any other heroes. <laughs> Um, and if you didn't get the joke, don't worry about it. It wasn't that funny. All right. <laughs> so, uh, did I add to, to the main scheme? Try and remember. Uh, it was at 
four last, I think one more. Because the only way it's gotten threat has been from the, whatchamacallits on the cards. So it got four last turn, two plus these two. It got four this turn, two plus these two. And I thwarted it down after the first turn. So eight's right. All right, Mary. Okay. What you going to do? Um, we really got to get rid of this threat. Uh, what does it say? Each friendly ther character. So, I mean, you could thwart for six, theoretically. Um, and, well, more with, with uh, Fury, right? Because don't forget, Fury gets plus two thwart also. Yeah, but I've also got Agent 13, and she's just going to, she can take off um, to just by being well, put you, into The play. question is, do you want government liaison? Because if not, you could pay for, well, you can pay for Fury anyway. One, two, three, four, draw three cards, and you could still play Agent 13. That is true. Um, yeah, so... Use those. Uh, get out. Government nice. liaison. Oh, it's just sad. I gotta get rid of my rapid response. <laughs> wait, wait. You paid four for government liaison. Oh no, you didn't. You paid two. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, you're right. You just paid these two. Yeah. I'm sorry. I thought you put genius yeah. also. You're good. <clears throat> Um, did you want a Sky Destroyer at this point? Yes. Alright, so that's two more off Spiral. Oh, no, 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 she can't take damage. Yes, she can. This can't remove threat. No, um, because she's back to escape. Oh, stupid. Escaped. Never mind. So. Just kidding. Uh, let's see. Two, three... Wait. Let's... Oh, but I can't use that on my other side. Crap. Because it's a hero action. Right. I mean, you could flip if you wanted. You could, like, thwart and then flip. Yeah. So that's one, two, three... Four. Just bring out Nick Fury. So I will draw three cards. Dum dum. <coughs> okay. So Nick is going to thwart for three. Okay. I will thwart for three. I can take it off with uh, uh, clear the area. Okay. So I will do that now since it's an action. I'll use my X jet to pay for it. Goodbye. Um, and I get to draw a card. Are you going to flip down this turn? Um, I mean, we're going to have Professor X and Nick Fury. We don't really need... Oh, well, maybe I don't play Professor X. I, I don't know yet. Uh, I could Psylocke to Confuse. So, we've got some options. Although, I don't know. I don't have a lot of resources. I'm not getting my double resources, Mary. I don't know what's going on here. Because <laughs> if not, I can... I was thinking of flipping down. Go and for then it. This next turn, if you play an ally, um, it'll be one cheaper nice well no you're playing agent 13 right well so i already played nick fury oh wait so this is at the start of the round yeah so you'll be the first player next time so so wait then, a minute uh, wait. wait wait but you could have done yeah. it in a different order just pay one less for fury because you could have flipped down after you thwarted there's no reason for you to be up when you played fury right um, the government liaison is um, a hero action. Ah, so never mind. Got it. 
Yeah. So, yeah, but I am going to get Agent 13 out just because why not with that sport? So she'll take two off just for coming in. Yep. We do inside. Yep. Yeah. And three more um, from somewhere. Yep. And another three. Same thing. Yep. All right. Um, all right. I should probably bring in an ally, right? I can't really Utopia and bring in an ally. So do I just trash Utopia and get Psylocke in so I can confuse? I, oh, no, but she's got to attack to be able to confuse. Oh, oh, yeah. Professor X can confuse also, by the way. Ooh. And that and he's got good sport. Yeah. All right. And I get to hold on to Utopia for another turn, waiting for that double resource to come up. <laughs> be waiting all day. Uh, all right, so thwarts for four. Oh, that seems like a waste. Uh, We're I'm going to do four off the main. And then I am going to attack uh, thwart for three myself. Oh, yes, Confusing Spiral. And then I'm going to take two damage to remove the last three. Putting this back up to six, but getting us cornered. Nice. Awesome. Uh, each obligation gets an acceleration. Of all the wonderful, sweet, beautiful things in this world to come up, <laughs> that is the best. And after a player discards an obligation, the player draws a card. I don't even care about the benefit. I just care that we don't have any obligations right now. Yeah. Um, all right. I did have to take two damage for that, though. Um, so I'm down to three life, which is living on the edge, Mary. Living on the edge. That, that is not great. <laughs> I mean, we have two chumpers this turn between Professor X and Nick Fury. If I die this turn, something is very wrong with this world. Uh, especially considering... Yeah. Oh, no. Spiral can attack. That's right. Spiral is flipped. Um, but yes, if I die, something went very wrong. Um, plus, I can defend for two also. And we literally have Agent 13 if we are desperate for defense. Yeah. Brilliant! Oh. There's Maria. <laughs> I got X, manage, uh, X Mansion, which would be good for when I finally do uh, head down. By the way, I put Crisis Averted in because I know that this goes up super high. So I figured I could leave some threat on the main scheme. And not really worry about it. Uh, right. And then get rid of a bunch at once with Crisis Averted. So that's why they're in my deck. But this turn is going to be a Utopia X Mansion for sure. Finally. Uh, oh, and you have Maria, but you're not going to be first player, which is great. That's awesome. <laughs> Love when that happens. Thank you for your service, Mary. Yeah. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, let's see. So we are to the attacky phase. She is going to. Oh yeah, we, we put two threat. No, we didn't. Oh, uh, we didn't. Nope. All right. So cornered, um, or not cornered, confused, cornered, all of it, all at once. She's cornered. She's confused. Oh wait, she, she was cornered, so she should have flipped. No, no, no. She was not cornered before. Remember, we couldn't attack her last turn. Until I right. did this. You did, and then we got cornered, right? Yep. So she's flipped. She's on her right side. This is her attacky side. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. So that's why she's attacking me instead of scheming against me. So I will block with Professor X. Uh, and that's fine. Well, do you want me to, so that you can keep Professor X around, just throw Nick Fury? Professor X because is he's going to. Discard at the oh, end of that's play. right. He's got to leave anyway. That's yeah. why I said we've got two chumpers that like. That's why I didn't mind staying up. Like even if you get an attack card, I mean, unless we both get attack cards, we're fine. Right. All right. Okay. Go ahead and do yours. We don't add extra threat now. Advance the villain schemes. Now we do have to do that. Oh, we do also have to add one counter, which will now become two. All right. So she's gonna yeah. scheme. For two plus three. Oh, I forgot about that shark. 
I hate stupid sharks. Um, so that's five. Huh. Remember how I said I wasn't going to crisis averted? You never know, Mary. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Stupid sword. And I haven't seen Sunfire. Well, that's good that I haven't seen Sunfire. I think Sunfire is hiding with my double resources. Uh, <laughs> spiral gets one plus one attack for each sword counter on this card. Uh, attach the spiral. It gets three sword counters, which is awesome. Which is plus three to uh, the attack. Which is great. We can, uh, if Spiral's cornered, we can spend two fist resources to remove one sword counter. Really? Really? Ooh. Yeah. Well, like I said, Sunfire will just remove the card, which is great if I draw Sunfire. If not, we're going to get punched yeah. in the face for a whole lot. By the way, that is the end of the enemy phase, so bye bye, Nick. And I'm going to go first. I am not playing an ally, so. Good for you. You're happy and healthy. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm going to X-Jet and Tactical Brilliance to pay for Utopia because I've held this card literally the entire game. <laughs> I'm going to pay my two Crisis Averteds to pay for X-Mansion, which is also good because that will heal me in a second. You know what? That two thwart is not worth my life. So I'm going to flip down, I'm going to heal for three, and I'm going to X-Mansion for another one. So that's a total of four healing done, up to seven. On this side, I can search my deck for a tactic upgrade and add it to my hand. That's my deck, though, right? Let's see. Do yeah. I want... I mean, I just want to get rid of these tactics, right? Uh... Hey, there was there's Sunfire. And two team building exercises, by the way. Either of those would have been nice to get earlier. Uh... <laughs> Field Commander, never going to play. There's my visor all the way on the bottom. Ricochet Beam and Priority Target. Attached Enemy is defeated. Draw two cards. I'm just going to draw it to get it out of my deck. Because we haven't really seen many minions yet. I'll go ahead and attach it. He is a Priority Target. Or she is a Priority Target. Go ahead. Kill her this turn. Just 26 damage to go. And uh, <laughs> then you get to draw two cards. Oh. Only I could... Without that much damage. Okay. So. I mean, look at you. You got double resources. You got Maria Hill. You got free resources. Draw a card. <laughs> You want to do that two damage with your Sky Destroyer? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. All right. Yep. Um, then I will... I don't remember command team. Exhaust it. Remove a command counter to ready an ally. Sweet. Okay. We use this strength and... Do you have to Super be flipped Soldier for any serum. Of Nope, you do not. And it's the command team. So I get out War Machine. Dude. Now, why did you only pay three? If you uh, flip, I, you played, can... I paid four. Oh. So I use Super Soldier Serum, Strength, and this Got it. Yeah, team. if you were flipped, you could have used Government Liaison also. Yeah, um, so I am going to heal. Imagine that for three, <laughs> <laughs> and then I will flip up, and then I will use government liaison to play Skellion. Ah, nice. Um, I will drop R and D facility to stand up, and then I'm going to use flaws or. Fearless Determination. Draw a card. Um, and then I'm going to attack. Or not attack. Not attack? Uh, attack? <coughs> Excuse me. Good attack or I can fort down the yeah. main. That's your choice. Since I'm going to get um, 
I get plus one to thwart anyway because of fearless determination. So I'll, yeah, I'll take three off. The yep, main. that makes sense. Um, Maria is going to take two off the main. Got it. Agent thirteen will take two off the main. Yep. Okay. And then War Machine is just going to hang out here with that tough. Yeah, no, that seems like a good idea. Although we've got and... lots of chumpers and other stuff going on right now, so that's pretty good. Yeah. I'm pretty happy about but... the board we've built. And when I say we, I mean you. <laughs> I've got I got two team building exercises, yay, and Phoenix. Still don't have my goggles. Oh, I put Polaris in, giving an X-Men character a tough status card. That's why I put her in. Hey. That seems good. Unfortunately, Spiral is about to be on her other side again, because why wouldn't she be? Yeah. Um, all right. So, she is going to thwart against me for two plus another two. Oh, getting rid of that card is never a bad thing. Uh, the one that it just exhausts you for no oh, reason. Oh, yeah. I mean, Cap doesn't care, but I care. Uh, now she's going to attack you for a bajillion. Two plus the three on this stupid thing. By the way, I didn't get Sunfire, which means she's in my final nine. Um, all right, so that would have been a lot of damage. Three plus three plus two is eight, but you were tough, and that is better than not being tough. All right, so I will draw my encounter card. Surge. Well, oh, wait, wait. She's, uh, that would have flipped her, by the way, because that would have been two activations. Wah, 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 wah. <clears throat> the only reason I remember that is because this says something about um, when revealed, if Spiral is cornered side, place one teleport counter on her, which she is not. If she's on her escape side, you may spend a mental resource to look at the top card of the show deck and put that card on the bottom of the deck. Uh, <clears throat> tactical Brilliance or Phoenix? Yeah, Tactical Brilliance. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'm doing that. We will look at that. Oh, it is cornered. I will not put that on the bottom. We are just going to keep that there. Nice. Advance. So that's two plus another one is three. Thank you for thwarting, by the way, Mary. Totally appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Oh, no! no. <laughs> All right, everybody, you know the pr routine. Everybody drinks Shadows of the Past. It's been a while since, like, it used to be, like, Marvel Champion Friday, Shadow of the Past Day. But, like, you have, uh, you brought it back, Mary. We have not seen I... Shadow of the Past in a while, I feel like. Oh, by the way, there's a quick strike when Baron Zemo comes in. Uh, yep. And you can't thwart. Are you going to take that three? Are you going to chump it? Um, I'll have Maria Hill. Maria is going to take the three for you. Okay, then we put out their side scheme, which is when revealed in player order, each player discards the top card of the encounter deck and takes one damage for each boost icon discarded that way. Um, and it adds an acceleration plus more fun cards for the encounter deck. Okay, um, so I am going to reveal the top card. Actually, what's the order of that? I'm now curious. Let's look at shadows. Um, Player order. The rest of your set aside nemesis cards. It says reveal your side scheme first. So actually, mm -hmm. if it's one of their cards, we will shuffle it back in. Because technically, okay. this goes off first. Uh, yeah. And then it says shuffle it in. Uh, but there are zero icons on that, so I take no damage. That's no, from Captain America. Do. Well, hold on. We can keep it out until we get one. Oh. Uh, so that's two. So you're going to take two damage. Two. Well, at least I have Steve's apartment. Yeah, that's good. Uh, so you're first player now, right? Yes. All right. Hey, you get the punchy stuff. Yeah, I need to kill Zemo. Uh... And I can't thwart until he's gone. That is correct. Okay. 
By the way, you haven't seen me optic blast yet. Um, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> I haven't really put many tactics cards out. I'm not doing. Oh, by the way, this priority target I probably should have taken off a while ago. It'd be nice. To... Oh, ooh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop. Um, I don't think I have any more priority targets in, but let me look. So if I do, then you could draw two cards. But I don't. I have no cards in here. Or no, uh, whatchamacallit cards. So never mind. Okay. Continue on. Carry on. Well, I just wanted right, to uh... like, do it before you killed her, right? So you could draw the two if I had it. Oh, you got another government liaison yeah. out. Yep. Um, and I'm going to use the Sky Destroyer to put two damage on Zemo. Makes sense. I want to use Agent 13 for an attack. Um, we'll use a Helicarrier and the Super Soldier Serum to get that Super Soldier Serum out. Yep. Which I will use to get out Steve's apartment. Seems good. Um, I will attack Zemo for two. Yep, up to four. Hmm. Yeah, I'll use her because I don't want him sitting in front of me. Yeah. So, he's dead. Well, if you're flipping down, it's only one scheme. Yeah. So, I will flip down. Use this to heal one. But you, so, you still wanted to sacrifice her? Yeah. Okay. And that is my turn. All right. Look at you with all kinds of double resources. <laughs> and all these resources in front of you. Did you need to use your helicarrier? I guess you did. You didn't want to discard either of those. Yeah. Well, I just drew the power in all of this. So. Oh, I gotcha. And you're... Okay. Cool. Um. Well, I'm going to go ahead and heal myself one, because I can. Don't have any cards to find. I, we already figured that out. So I'm going to... Wait, you're down... Did you play an ally this turn? I did not. Oh, so I pay one less. Although, yep. to play team building, I need to be alter ego, any, or I need to be hero. So it's not, you and to use X jet, I need to be hero. Huh. Yeah, so that's not, unfortunately, we got some anti-synergy going on here. I am uh, Captain Anti-Synergy. So well, what do you want it'll... to won't it still work? Why would it? Oh, yes, yes. You are correct. Nice. All right. So I'm going to do one, two to put in team building. Then I'll use team building and your free resource and the other team building or Polaris? The other team building to put... Oh, I got. I got to do something first. Hold on. Hold on. All right. So I'm holding these. Uh, so what do I want to thwart? Do we want to try to get to this? Do we want to get her out or not yet? Since we're not attacking this turn, I'll just get rid of this, right? Um. Yeah, I might as well. All right. So I'm thwarting for two here. Then I'll do what I said: team building, plus your leadership. Plus my other team building to put Phoenix in because I have Utopia um, exhausted to ready an X-Men character. And after Phoenix Center's play, choose a card in your discard pile and add it to your hand. Ooh! I don't have Sunfire, but I have Polaris. Uh, this isn't going to work, though. It's not going to work. Oh, it's got to be a Cyclops card anyway. Um... We'll do the one that makes him attack for one less. Although I feel like we got to chump anyway this turn. Uh, yeah, so I'll just put the minus one attack. Or I could do the okay. plus one damage one. And yeah, no, I'll just do the minus one attack. Practice defense. Put that right over here. Maybe I won't forget it this time. 
All right. Um, so we'll just thwart two, uh, two and two for six. We'll get rid of this garbage. Two and two for six, sure. by the way. You like that? You like my math? <laughs> <laughs> I already removed two, so I only needed four. Uh, yeah, this uh, this show isn't... Uh, I told there would be no math involved. Uh, yeah, so there's that. All right, so <laughs> I'm starting to build up some kind of an engine here. Uh, all right, so let's ready up and draw up. Hey, there's Sunfire to get rid of one of the swords. Uh, thankfully, there yeah. is only one thwart. One thward? What's a thward? Did, <laughs> did you already add a threat? I did not. Okay, two threat. Oh, you decked. That's why you're drawing a card. I was confused. I decked, yeah. Hey, field commander that I'm not going to play. Ooh. Okay. Got Mockingbird. Mock, yeah. Ing, yeah. Bird. All right. So... <laughs> That was from Dumb and Dumber, for those who don't know. I am Dumb and Dumber, You've, if you've seen my deck without my double resources. Um, so we're not getting attacked this turn, actually. So that's, I guess, one of the good things about this. The bad thing is, yeah. I should have probably thwarted the main. Um, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Two plus zero is just two. We also have my attack, or my thwart, which is two plus three, which is not as good. Oof. It's all right. Yeah, we gotta get that down. It's all right. We'll get it down. But we didn't get attacked. Good news. And we know if we get rid of this six, we're good. Mm -hmm. Um, and we could do that just by taking damage, honestly, and save our thwarting for the main. <gasps> you got yeah. sunfire. Yes, I do. Yes, I was very happy about that. Um, nice. I don't know why I sir. Oh, yeah. I don't even know why I wasted everybody's time searching for this. I forgot that she wasn't attacking this turn. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Uh, I think we could both take two damage, right? To guaranteed flipper. And that way we can use all um, our warning on main. Yeah, is that a hero action, though? It's, yeah, a, hero it's action. a hero action. Oh, yeah, yeah we'd have to wait. Um, I don't know that I'm attacking anyway, so I don't think it matters. Um, so when you flip up, you will be able to do it. But oh. we do know cornered is on top, right? Yes, we know cornered is on top. Yep. Okay. All right. Oh, we do have to go ahead and take your encounter card. Yep. Hopefully we don't have, like, two advances in here. That would be very sad. I don't think we have two left. After a side scheme is defeated, place a clue counter here. Then if there's at least three clue counters here, discard this card. So we have to defeat okay. side schemes. Yep. Otherwise, we get and an acceleration. Got an acceleration symbol. Yes, which is not wonderful. Maria. All right. No. Uh, surge. Surge. Oh, perfect. Oh no. <laughs> no, that's what are you talking about? Oh no, it's in my discard. Oh no, that's I right. I haven't drawn it yet. It'll... <laughs> yeah. No, I haven't drawn it yet. That's fantastic. No, oh no about that. That's. I, by the way, I intentionally. Well, first of all, I intentionally don't play it until this comes up the first time. Um. But I cannot attack, which is fine also. I can exhaust myself, so I'll, I'll, I'll be going Alter Ego this turn. Um, okay. Uh, and I'll just get it, because it puts it in my hand too, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's great, and removes this card from the game. Absolutely. That was perfect. Hail Hydra, when revealed, each Hydra minion engaged with a hero attacks that hero. Each player who is not attacked this way searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a Hydra minion, puts it into play, engage with them, shuffle the encounter deck. If it was searched this way. All right. There should be two Hydra soldiers. Uh, I don't see any Hydra in there. So they are both in the... Yeah, there's one. And there's the other one. All right. Guard with four. Uh, deal the damage to engage player. It isn't my optic blast is an attack, so there's not much I can do about this. Although when I flip down, I believe I can search my discard pile, right? No deck. Gosh darn it, because I do have those things that would let you draw two cards, but unfortunately, not gonna happen. All right, so I'm first player. Right. I mean, I think I'm okay. Yes. This Hydra soldier scheming for one, since I'm gonna be down anyway. 
Um, I'm just going to thwart like crazy. Uh, I, I am remember gonna... the first the thwart. first ally you play costs one less. Yes. So I'm going to team building. Well, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Because that's why I'm going to do this first. I'm going to exhaust to scheme for two. Then I'm going to team building plus my ally costs one less to Sunfire, which, by the way, gets rid of this garbage sword. Because uh, Sunfire, after you play Sunfire from your hand, oh, I would have had to spend a lightning resource. We'll go ahead and use X-Jet for that. Um, to choose an attachment with hero action or hero response to discard it. And the sword says hero action. Um, but it doesn't say, like, do the hero action. It just says get rid of it. So, which seems really good. Um, so now, chat. I am going to do mission training. Or do I play Polaris? Maybe I just play Polaris. I was going to mission training Phoenix, which would have given her plus one thwart, plus two hit points. But I feel like just this is way better, Polaris, right? So, yeah. We're just going to pay three for Polaris. Uh, I don't get to use Utopia again, I don't think, after X-Men enters play. Exhaust it, yeah. So that would have been exhausted. Um, But extra attack, extra whatever. So I'm definitely That'll give you a tough thwarting here. Yes, and I get a tough. That's right. So I'm definitely thwarting here. Uh, off main. Oh, I should have readied with Utopia. Yes. Because after you play an X Men Enters Play, ready an X Men. So when I played Polaris, I could have done that to ready myself. Because I'm gonna need to exhaust myself to get my visor back, unless I want to do it next turn. Do I? Maybe I just focus on thwarting this turn. Because I don't care if the visor's here for an extra turn, right? I'm not going to... Well, do I have cards in my hand? I don't. Yeah, so I don't care about it this turn. Getting it in my hand, it'll just clog my hand up. So I'm going to thwart for two more. Uh, we really need to take this off. Oh yeah, I'll take two damage. Start. To get rid of three. And then what do you want my damage. allies to do? Thwart for two or kill one of these soldiers? Um, I can kill yours I killing, if you want. Killing the soldiers is probably better. All right. Yeah, okay. if you can if you can take out mine, then I can yours. start. Um, That'll let you thwart. Don't worry about mine. He only schemes for one because I'm going to be down. Uh, so I flip down and I use X Mansion. Question is, do I heal myself or do I heal Phoenix? I think I heal Phoenix. I'll be fine. I got three chumpers. Right? Yeah. Do you want to keep her around, though? Since hers is a when she enters play thing. Yeah. I mean, all mine are when they enter play. Touche. Unfortunately, I... Yes, I do want to do it. Because here's the problem. Okay. I'm in a timing issue right now. I'm going to deck before I could kill any of them off. Because I'm going to deck right now. So all three of these will be in my discard. Oh, wait. We might have been playing this wrong. Wait, playing what wrong? So in the chat, Marvel Champions Fancast says, You can't remove threat from the main until she's cornered. You are correct. Um, so I'll take two more damage. And my whole turn still works. I don't remember if we did that before. Do you remember if we did it while she wasn't cornered? I think we did last. No, we didn't last turn. I took off the side scheme. So I actually think we're right. okay. I think this is the first time we actually did that. But thank you. For uh, pointing that out, Marvel Cham uh, Champions Fancast. Awesome job. Matthew Rose says, hey, Peter and Mary. Hello, everyone. Uh, got some transition glasses recently and made me feel like Cyclops. Nice. Um, I, uh, I, I 
I have glasses, but I don't wear them on the stream because that's why I zoom in. <laughs> so I don't need to. Uh, when a character takes damage, increase the damage by one and overkill. So that's not lovely, but better that we got rid of the sword. Oh, and she is cornered. All right. So I just took the extra damage. So, yeah, instead of healing Phoenix, I am going to heal myself now. <laughs> uh, we will we will do it that way because I won't be able to heal myself because of the visor. So, all right, Mary, all that to say, it is your turn. All right. Wait, you defeated a side scheme, right? I did. Yes, so you get so. to put a counter on there. Awesome, okay. Everything is awesome. So, I'm going to use Steve's apartment, heal one, draw a card. Okay. Alright, um, I can't do anything else on this side, so I'm just going to flip. I'm going to play, or use the power in all of us, and government liaison. Get out Mockingbird. Yeah. Um, use the Sky Destroyer. Do two damage. Do you want me to put it on your Hydra Soldier? Nah. Or... Okay. So I mean, I guess we damage. are going to need it on him at some point, but whatever. It's fine. Um, let's see. Oh, this is so terrible. Why terrible? Because if I want to get my R&D facility out, I have to use both of my rapid responses. <laughs> yeah. But then it'll be out but, for a while. Yeah. Though so command team, though. I think I might do command team. So I'll use the other government liaison. And... Uh, one of the rapid responses to get out the command team. So it has three counters on it. Ah! That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> you weren't trying to draw three cards? <laughs> <laughs> there. Okay. I mean, you have so many resources, I feel like you're like a resource factory. Wait, by the way, you should use <laughs> Super Soldier Serum. Oh, fifth. Yep. Never mind. Nah. Yeah, but I am going to use those. So one, two, three. Play a heroic strike. Why don't you have said that you stunned my Hydra soldier with um, Mockingbird? Yeah, because yeah, my... Heroic strike. Because your heroic strike the... will stun anyway, and you did have that in hand. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So we'll say so. you stun the Hydra Soldier. So now we have one more turn of not having to worry about it. Uh, now he's guarding, but I don't think I'll be attacking anyway. I think I'm going to be yeah. thwarting. And so. six damage. Nice. All right. Um, I'll have War Machine hit for two. Nice. Um, then I'll use command team to stand him back up again. Um, do I want? Do I want to attack him again, or should I um, whittle down the? Search for Spiral so we can get rid of this wild, wild mojo. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that stupid wild, wild Oh, mojo. and when she takes damage, she should be taking an extra one damage. Oh, yeah. So uh, she definitely took at least one attack. Did you punch? I did not punch. So I damaged her with the Sky Destroyer. And War, Mach and, and War Machine. And War Machine. And yourself. And, yeah, and my um, Heroic Strike. All right. Yep. So I did three extra. Okay. So I can. Now, unfortunately, I was I way overkilled this person because I did three with the first and then three again. 
but that's fine. Oh. It's all good in my hood. So I can attack with both Cap and Mockingbird and get her down, or get Mojo down. I mean, Mojo's five. stunned, and I'm on Alter Ego, so we don't care about getting rid of this, actually. It's helping us right now. Right. Like, for this right. turn. So Mockingbird is going to attack for two. Yep. Well, basically, it'll end up being two. Yep. Um, and then I, another three for me. Yep. And then another three for more machine. Now, we don't want to kill him while this is up, though. Because remember, right. she's going to attack everybody, even if you're on Alter Ego. Yep. Which is very bad for me, With if this is up. Because I got chumpers. I'm okay if it's not up. If it's up. Bad things happen to me. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're readying up. Yep. And drawing up. So I did deck. Do, do, do. All right. I've got some threat removal stuff. Ooh, I got mutant peacekeepers with all these allies out. Oh, nice. Which is good, because they're all, like, close to death. So that means not death. And I could split it. That's the nice part about mutant peacekeepers. Is Oh, I got two mutant peacekeepers, by the way. Although, it doesn't really help. Um, but between that and clear the area, I could put them within, like, two of getting cleared. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yep. Which seems good. Um... All right, well, let's go ahead and do bad stuff. So we had two threats in the main. Which three. Three, that's right, because of this. Yeah. Which is a little bit of a problem. Wait, was I first player, or did I just steal that early for no reason? No, you were the first player, because you used player. my... Yeah. Yep, all right. So uh, scheming against me for two plus one is three. And uh, attacking me, but attacking not attacking. Attacking but stunned feels good then i get two cards which doesn't feel good oh here you go i only get one card oh great <laughs> what you get? uh actually that's not terrible so yeah i am gonna flip and that is gonna leave the game nice all right um have your other oh yeah, yeah gang up which is a surge oh hey look no <laughs> did did we really want another one of these swords um, oh not not really and unfortunately sunfire's in play uh now i do have a card to pull sunfire back oh can you put rapid response in front of me uh, or can you make the call from my discard pile? Yes, you I can, can make the call from your discard. So yep. maybe I get rid of Sunfire so you can make the call and just take care of that. Ooh. Sweet. Look at that teamwork. Boom, boom, boom. All right, you do have one more card to go, though. So I don't have any energy in my hand. That's the only problem. Huh. That's... Oh, no, you have... Oh, those are... I forget they're fists. Fists, yeah. I keep thinking they're like Quinn carriers, but they're not. Yeah. Catch the minion with the highest printed hit points. If you cannot, this card gains surge. Well, there's no minion. Yes, or there, there is a minion. Is. Oh, uh -huh. there's one minion. Yep. When attached minion is defeated, each player adds one card from the discard pile to their hand. <gasps> uh, and it gets th plus three hit points. So we just get Ooh. to draw an extra card. But that means that you can pull Sunfire back into your hand. Oh. Oh. Because you do have a lightning resource. I mean, I also have 
X jet. So yes, I definitely have yeah. lightning resources. Oh. That seems good, and you are first player, which also seems good because you can start damagey damaging here. Um, so seven hit points. All right, well, that mutant peacekeepers might not be as good as I thought because we're going to do some trickeration here. All right, well, it's your turn. Okay. All right, uh, so I'll use Steve's apartment, heal one, this draw a card. Under? Oh, no. I love Steve's apartment. <laughs> yes. You're not playing an ally. All right. right. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, ally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Um, let's see. Oh, you... Oh, no, make the call, because it says printed cost, so you can't even reduce the cost. Yeah. Ooh, I can get that R and D facility out though. You're very excited by your R and D facility. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of a weird cost to pay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right. I mean, so... shield toss is pretty good too. Hold on. Oh, oh, yeah. You got rid of shield block, not shield toss. Yeah. Although shield block's pretty mm -hmm. damn good with those swords. Oh, yeah, but we're getting rid of the swords. Uh, let's see. Yes. Oh, wait, not health carrier. No. Not Sky Destroyer. There we go. Government liaison. You have so many R &D resources. Facility. <laughs> Ridiculous. That is the nice thing about this deck. Um, so I get three counters. Um, I will use those two to get out. My rapid response. Seems good. I don't really need to... Oh, Sky Destroyer. I should have used that when I put out R&D facility. That's two damage. Or, or do, do we want to put here? it on? Yeah. Yeah, probably on here. Um, let's see. Well, I can use Shield Toss to stand up use that super soldier serum I got my helmet out one less card in the deck um we don't want to kill her right now right mm, we prefer not to or do we because you're no it doesn't matter she attacks even if you're down she attacks even if you're down? Okay. Yes. So, I mean, we do want to kill this, but not quite yet. We want to get... You can get right. it almost dead for me. That would be great. Okay. Yep. So that's two. Yep. So, uh, Mockingbird will do another one. So the five... I mean, that's within two of death. That should be fine. Yeah. And... I mean, if you want to take some threat off of here or here, threat. nobody's going to be sad about that. <laughs> yeah. Um... I mean, you don't have to, but... Yeah, I'll use War Machine to take some threat down. We've got um, Mockingbird who can still... Yeah, yeah, off the main. And then did you want to... I mean, we could do this later. Did you want to take two to remove some threat from here just to get rid of this garbage? Yeah, I can I can do that. All right. And then I'll take two or we'll figure out. I'll, I'll figure out. I mean, you could even take two more later because it is a hero action. Um, but we right. probably do want to do that before we let her flip. Yeah. All right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and search my deck for a tactic. I'm going to search for the one that lets me draw two cards, because that seems good right now. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping to draw a double resource for one of them. If you haven't heard that joke yet, it's because I have no double resources in my deck, because I realized at the beginning of the game, I'm a moron. Um, <laughs> I built the deck up like, oh yeah, I forgot to put double resources in. I was like, well, too late now. Uh, all right. 
So we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll put that tactic out. I am going to definitely X Mansion to heal myself. I am definitely going to exhaust myself to get this visor back into my hand, which seems good. Oh, Wait, doesn't that leave the game? Yes, it does. Thank you for reminding me, because that is <laughs> awful. Yep. All right, so I got to kill Sunfire off first. So Sunfire is going to attack for two on the boss, because why not? Three. Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Sunfire is going to thwart for one on the main <laughs> and die. All right, then, oh, have we been doing the extra damage each time on here? We have not. Oh, yeah. So he would have been dead already. So hold on. Well, I can, uh, wait, uh, I'll, one instead of damaging him with Mockingbird, I can, um, I'll take one off of the main. Um, all right, so wait, what did you attack with? You attacked with yourself for two. That would have been three. Myself and Mockingbird. Is that it? Well, it's already on five then. Four, so five. did we already do it? Oh, no, no, no. War Machine attacked, right? No, War Machine took threat off of the main. Did you attack yourself twice? I, you did ready yourself. Did you attack twice yourself? So he's at six? No, no, no. I didn't attack twice. I was I was already down because of my obligation. Oh right right right. So is he only at four then? No, he should have five. five? His cap is three, and then uh, Mockingbird would be two. Okay, so then Mockingbird can't take off of me. So Wait, we had it right. Because he already had two on it. From oh Sky Destroyer, that's what the other thing was. Yep. So hold on. All yep. Right. Okay. So it it was Cap and Sky Destroyer is what it is. So he should be at six. Three from yep, Sky and Destroyer. Then it Mockingbird say... can just take one off the main. Yep. Instead of attacking. Oh, I had already done it. So we're at 19. Oh, no, no, no. No, I'd, I'd actually put it back before, so we oh, should Oh, we be both at put it back? <laughs> we both took yeah. it off. We both put it back. All right. All right. Yeah, that, I mean, that's the hard part about these settings is, like, trying to remember them is tough. And then there's also a lot going on with her scenario. Um, yeah. All right. So I'm going to flip up. I'm going to put my uh, visor in. Paying mutant peacekeepers and mutant peacekeepers because I don't really care about them anymore. I'll put my visor in. Then I'll use team building and you got no resources for me. Clear the area to put in forge I don't think I have any more yeah. supports I think those were my two supports uh, pretty sure I don't have any more supports yeah utopia and X mansion and X jet were really what I was looking to I'm plus a two cost ally right I mean yeah. And if you get lucky to get it early, great. Even better. Uh, so I can for justice and or clear the area, which is nice. But let's do one thing at a time. I'm going to blast with my Ruby Quartz Visor. Exhaust it to generate a lightning for a resource. Since I haven't done this, I'll explain it. Spend a resource of any type to deal three damage to somebody with an upgrade. This one's got an upgrade. Boom. Three damage. So actually, we didn't need you to do well, but we also didn't want you to kill the boss. So you could have, yeah. instead of doing, hold on a second, your three, you could have thwarted for two instead. Should we do that? Because I'm actually sure. hitting four, um, four right here. Well, never mind. We did. It's too far back. Um, we definitely knew all this was coming, but it's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we kill this. This goes to discard. I draw two cards. Why do I draw two cards? Oh, because of that upgrade. I also get to search for Sunfire. Do you remember why I get to do that? Because I don't. Oh, this card. Um, dead or yeah, alive. Yeah, because it's a dead or alive. When they're, uh, oh. And I get to do that, too. Nice. 
Cause I'm wanted, dead or alive. Those are probably good because this is Bull Maduki. Um, with the overkill, the overkill part of it is what makes it bad. Uh, all right, so I am going to. It comes back up to our hand, right? Yes. So I'm gonna. Play Sunfire for sure. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do this. And because of Utopia, I can have an extra ally, right? Yes, because they're all X-Men. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, well, I'm definitely playing Sunfire. One. Two. play Sunfire. Uh, then I get to pay a lightning resource to get rid of that garbage sword. Sunfire has been key this game. Yeah. She is uh, quite ex most excellent. All right. So, oh, and then I get the Utopia to ready myself, which is also good. Uh, I'm going to have Forge thwart for one we're going to thwart on this garbage then I am going to clear the area removes two threat if it removes the last one draw a card oh mission training question is do I keep it alright so put a token on your thing oh I've been forgetting to accelerate just this one last turn I forgot to accelerate I've been doing it the turn. You reminded me of the turn before, but I definitely forgot it last turn. Okay. Um, so that gets rid of this. Hopefully not cornered. Sweet. Not cornered. That That's worked out for us twice now, by the way. Yeah. Like doing it while she's already there. Uh, each obligation gets an acceleration. Well, there's no obligations in play, which is great. All right. So now we want... We want him dead, right? Her dead? Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, I don't have a tactic to put on her because then I could... Well, no, I can't beam again. Um, so who do I want to die here? Well, Phoenix is going to die from the attack. So Phoenix does too and goes away. Uh, I'll just attack... Uh, actually, I need to thwart, right? We're at 19. I need to thwart. Oh, I'm tough. Forgot about that. So, I'm going to thwart for two. Uh, then we will have... Sunfire. Go ahead and flip spiral. So, yay. You're ready for it, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, all right, so 17 per player, so that's what, 34? So now we get up to three per player. Yep. So it's actually easier now. Because it's not two per player before she flips. It's three. Right. So it's easier in that way. Uh, so, but she does, when revealed, attack everybody. Uh, you are right. first player. Oh. I'm you want me dumb. to chump? You want me to chump? Um, actually, if we can go back. So I pulled the power in all of us out of my discard pile. Yes. Because of the thing. You, but you I have a shield block in here. So if I can go back and yep. switch that out. I Yep. Like I was thinking I should grab the shield block. but. All right. All right. So, so I got a shield take block. take a retaliate. Which, by the way, I don't remember if I've been doing all game. We have chumped a lot, but. Uh, and then for me, I'm just going to actually take it with the tough. Um, oh, well, we, st sense. we still have to draw the uh, boost cards. So it's zero boost on you, on me. I'm just going to take it with the tough. Uh, and then I'm going to attack with Polaris, which will get her on her second damage for two. You know, maybe we shouldn't have gotten rid of that. That plus one damage would have been helpful. And you just shield blocked and I took it with the tough. So, we're kind of stupid. <laughs> we could have done a ton more damage here. 
if we'd been smart. Uh, but yeah, this is what happens when Terrence isn't around, Mary. I, I, I I'm not, I'm not as good as he is. Uh, at and I'm rusty. Out. What? And I'm rusty. Yeah, no, that 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 did not work out well for us in, in the in the big end of things. That's uh, okay. All right, I'm gonna get rid of I'll mission be, training. I'll be able to uh, draw a card. <laughs> yes, Once maybe we hold mission training actually, because we kind of need thwarting, and I'd like to keep at least one of these allies around. So yeah, I'm gonna actually hold mission training, uh, and just draw four. All right. Oh, I got full blast and exploit weakness. Oh, Mary. Mm -hmm. This is going to be really fun. This is going to be really fun. We're going to exploit weakness and have all these allies. So, like, uh -huh. as long as we live, things are going to be very good. Oh, nice. But we are adding three threats to the main because of your acceleration. I remembered this time. Uh, this will be the last one, so he does attack me. Uh, I'll block with Forge. Okay, so that goes away. Forge goes away. Then he attacks you. Uh, Mockingbird is going to jump in the way of that. Alrighty. Yep, so we move this up to three. But again, it doesn't pop till four, so we got that going for us. We may have forgotten that once six. or twice, but I hope not. <laughs> doesn't pop till six. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, all right, so I get a card, you get a card. Wait, you get a card first. We did that in the reverse order. Yeah. It's fine. There's your card, there's my card. Wouldn't have mattered, we chumped both of them. Oh, uh, wait, oh, is this an obligation card? It is. Yep. So we actually have to do one more. Oh, yeah. So i go up another one. Yep. Um, each encounter card gains peril. What's peril and, again? Uh, that means I can't help you with it. Oh, that's fine. Dead or alive, attach to the minion with the highest printed hit points. If you cannot, this card gains surge. That was a good one, too. That let me... Oh, place four thread on side schemes. Something, again, having a permanent side scheme is awesome for. <laughs> um, all right. I mean, can we do 31 damage? We can try. <laughs> we can try. I got dumb dumb. I mean, I've got full blast, by the way, also. And I am first player, which actually works out great for exploit weakness. So we're just going to start with exploit weakness. I'm going to pay field commander. Um, so that's, uh, from each attack by one, only from attacks, but I think that's okay. So I am going to, I might need your helicarrier this turn. I don't know yet. Um, so we'll, we'll see. So he's got a thing on him. So I'm going to full blast. Spend three resources, but I spend this instead. Exhaust this card to generate lightning for Optic Blast. So that's Optic Blast. So that's three damage. Plus I pay one more. Choose uh, Optic Blast ability. Exhaust Cyclops and deal eight more damage and overkill. So I do have to pay one for that. Oh, no, I don't need it. Uh, so we're good. Uh, so Optic Blast is eight more. So it's eight plus three now i uh, assume it adds to the three it's not a second attack this attack deals eight additional so it'd normally be 11 right. um but it's 12 yep. because of exploit weakness so two and then 10 more gets down to 19 which seems good okay uh well i'm not even close to done then x jet and team building to pay for angel whose cost is reduced by one so angel attacks for three. Don't forget to use Utopia. Oh, yes. And Utopia to ready myself. Yep. Good call. So Angel attacks for three. Polaris dies attacking for three. So that'll be a total of six. Sunfire attacks for three more. So that's a total of nine. 
Uh, and I'll attack for two more for a total of 11. So if you can do eight damage, Mary. Oh, for sure. We are good. Yeah. Okay. So let's see how this goes. I'm just going to make sure I'll have. Okay. I should be good. All right. Uh, so I'm going to use both super soldier serums, helicarrier, um, uh, make the call and one government liaison to bring out Dum Dum. Dum Dum! Uh, which Sky Destroyer. And then want. Sky Destroyer. Yep. So that'll be two. Yep. Um, then I am going to exhaust Triskelion, the other government liaison, command team to give him plus three to his attack, and the R&D to give him another one. So that's plus four. Nice. So he attacks for seven? Seven. And that's boom, boom, boom. Let us see his kill spiral. Spiral. All right. Um, well, that was fun. That was very, very fun. You ready to do a short post-stream discussion? Yes. All right. Let's go to post-stream with Mary. Ooh, ooh, Mary. All right. So... Um, so we had not lead, not double leadership deck, but, um, let's be honest. It always feels like a leadership deck when you're playing with uh, Cyclops, I guess, depend on how you build it. But, um, so after not playing for a while, what did it feel like to get back in the saddle again? Oh, it was nice. It's been, yeah, it's been a really long time since I've been able to sit down and actually play. So it was, it was nice to be able to play again and play with somebody else too. That was, <laughs> that was a bonus. Yeah. Well, solo's fun, but I really do think the game shines at two player. Yeah. Um, so, and you know, spiral is a nice, we've been going against, I think last week we did, um, Kang. So which has the three stages, not two. Uh, and then, like the week before we did like Venom Goblin or something. I was like, Terrence, mm -hmm. I need a, a, a small, like we were up till 2 a.m. last week, which is also part of the reason I wanted to start at 8 uh, this week instead of at 10. I'm like, I can't stay up till 2 in the morning every week again. Uh, and Terrence is honestly the reason we start as late as we normally do because he's um, central time. So he just needs to start a little bit later. Uh, so, yeah, to be able to start at eight was really nice actually because it's 10 o'clock it's not even 10 o'clock here um so between the villain and the starting time that was really really good uh for yeah me. <laughs> i i'm not as tired i'm not yawning the way i normally do by the end of the games um so anything stand out to you either about your deck my deck or the villain uh oh i think i don't know maybe Maybe I'm, ima I'm imagining it, but I feel like our decks actually did pretty well, like, complementing each other. Yeah. Like, even though they were both, like, radically different, like, yours was all X-Men focused and mine was completely S.H.I.E.L.D. focused. Yeah. They actually strangely complemented each other. Well, because I probably couldn't thwart as well as I should have. Now, I had <laughs> much better thwarting cards that I just never used um, because we didn't seem to need them. We were doing just fine with the thwarting because you were helping mm -hmm. out. So, I mean, I think our play complemented each other, too. So Terrence is really yeah. just what brings me down normally. Um, <laughs> it's not that I play terribly. It's that, you know, Terrence makes it look like I'm doing bad because he's so selfish with his play. Um, we'll, we'll blame it on that. <laughs> Terrence is probably watching. He's, like, going to start cursing me out in two seconds here. Um. Yeah, no, so I thought that was fun. It's funny, because I put leaders, X-Men, and Avengers, but it wasn't really Avengers. You were doing a shield deck, and you even told me that ahead of time. So I'm changing <laughs> the title right now. So the only people that will know were the ones who looked already. And everybody else, haha, we got you. <laughs> you didn't get to see Avengers at all. You got to see shield. Um, yes. So, yeah. uh, I do want to talk a little bit about allies today, though. 
What are your thoughts on allies in Marvel Champions? Or if you want me to get started, because I didn't really prepare you for the discussion, um, I can get started if you'd prefer. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so for me, allies are, are interesting. And I think part of the reason leadership's so powerful is... And I think leadership was more powerful before because they were the only ones with cheap allies. I feel like every um, everybody has cheap allies at this point. Because if you think about it, if you're paying two for an ally and you get to thwart or attack and you get the blocking, I mean, the blocking is really the huge benefit. So any villain with overkill or that does poke damage to, um, you know, everybody on your team or whatever makes the game that much harder. First of all, because it gets yeah. rid of toughs, but also because it gets rid of those allies that you try to get down to one health and then, you know, they could take a seven attack. Uh so for me, that's the one thing that kind of, I, I don't, I'm assuming it was intended to be that way. Right. But they probably should have costed like every ally one more, because I do think compared to like an event, they're all just way better unless your event does like, un unless you're talking about miles, right. Where his events stun or confuse and, um, take off threat or attack or whatever. So he's the one ally, I guess, that has kind of cards that work similarly to allies and the fact that they basically take away an enemy activation and can th uh, thwart for fairly inexpensively. Yeah. Uh, yeah, go for it. Um, I don't know. I think because like, cause starting out, it was all really... Um, Like, the game itself was just simpler. But now with a lot of this, a lot of the newer stuff that's coming in, we're starting to see more um, more ally hate from yep. the villains. Yep. And I think that kind of balances it out just overall. Sure. Um, especially because, like, w when you're first starting out with the game, like, I know I, I've seen people on Reddit, you know, they're, they're new to the game, they come in, they... And they're like, I can't even beat Rhino. Like, I've tried Rhino ten times and I can't beat him. What am I doing wrong? Right. <laughs> um, now, do you so... think that's a consequence of having ally chumping as an abil availability, though? Because right, because knowing that an ally can take those huge attacks, they're like, wow, we can make the attack ten and it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? So is it almost a consequence of having allies being able to block for you? That they had to do um, those super big attacks? No, I don't... I don't think so... Necessarily? I mean, especially just because... Like, as we're getting farther and we're getting um, more modulars that, you know, you can go back and put into the older stuff. And, I mean, even Rhino, with his charge card, that... That gives him a plus three and overkill. So yeah. you can't chump that at all. So even back at the very beginning, they they were kind of doing things to so that you couldn't rely too heavily on the allies. Um, now, I remember when the game first started, every one of my decks had eight to like ten allies in it. I realize <laughs> now you don't need that many. Um, but I just wanted one or two in my hand every turn so I could kind of pick which one came out. I've noticed I don't... Now, it's funny to say that because this game I had four allies out. Oh, only once, I think. Uh, but I had three allies out several times during the game. Um, but, I mean, that's how I pick allies now. 99% of the time, I pick by cost. I almost don't care what their abilities are. Now, Sunfire, for this game specifically, was really good, but he's also a two-cost ally. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> so, like, that's almost the first thing I look at when I'm trying to pick out allies is cost. There are very few allies where I think the ability is so good that it overrides that just cheap do something and then take all the damage for me. Um, of yeah. Course, unless I'm going protection or whatever. Do you tend to lean cost first or what are your considerations? Um... So, I I kind of consider myself one of those people that I 
the cost matters a little bit, but I'm also looking at what it actually does. So like Dum Dum, Dum Dum costs five. He's right. super expensive and not yep. a card that you typically find like in a leadership, you know, ally swarm deck. Right. But like for this deck, it made sense just because of all the shield cards I was putting into it. Yep. So like, I mean, he just took the last like turn. Yeah. Basically this, this one. Um, and I mean, so he's, he, he can do two, six attacks. Like, that's pre or three. He could do two and chump or three. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's real good. Or in a pinch, um, you can have him thwart for three, which is pretty darn good. Um, yeah. Oh, you could do shield cards to bump that too. So you could thwart for six. Yeah. yeah, which is unheard of for now. I mean, three consequential damage is a lot, but I mean, so he could yeah. attack for six and then, or attack for six twice and then thwart for six on his third one. That's... um, Assuming you have enough shield cards. Right. Because um, you have to, you have to um, exhaust shield cards for each of his activations. Yes. But, yeah, like, I mean... So, yeah, with the command... Yeah, command, command team, team, government liaison... Like, you can stand him back up and... Sky destroyers, yeah. R&D facility, uh, helicarrier. I mean, you don't want to have to use all that, clearly. But... Right. Still, still pretty good. But, yeah. He's... I I find he's really great for endgame. Like, at the beginning of the game, no, you don't want to put him in. Just because you don't... You're not set up at all. So, I... Early in the game, I pitch him. I just yeah. throw him directly to discard. Because I, I know I'm not going to use him at all. But... Um, yeah, when it comes to the end game, he he can do a crazy amount of damage as long as like you've got built up, which is pretty much what this deck is. It's it's basically all around shield and um, you know being able to constantly use the sky destroyer, um, recur Nick Fury to keep drawing cards, Maria Hill. Uh, yeah, this was just kind of an idea I came up with a while ago when the shield stuff started coming out, and, and I really like this. <laughs> yeah, no, I, it's good, because I haven't seen a shield um, leadership deck before, honestly. I've seen a lot of shield justice decks, but shield leadership, they've got some really good shield cards in leadership. Um, mm -hmm. You know, being able to ready heroes, being able to uh, add to their stats, you know, that those are all useful in and of themselves and then to also be able to um boost up your shield stuff is is really good it's really good uh by the way yeah. victor says i thought i was getting here a little early mary beat me to getting to the stream yeah sorry victor we changed times so many <laughs> times today it was last second. We originally had it for 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. Then we changed it to 9 p.m. Then last second, I was like, can we do it at 8? Like, I just wanted to actually sleep tonight. Um, and this honestly has been great for me. Um, I mean, if Terrence was here, we'd still be playing. Um, and, and we'd be talking for another four hours as well. So there is that. Um, but uh, that would still only be midnight. So that would be way better than, than where we're normally at. Uh, yeah, so do you have favorite allies? I can start. Um, there are a lot that are pretty powerful, but Sunfire was really fun today. Uh, I like Wolverine because he's different. I do like allies that tend to stay in play. Um, mm -hmm. just because it fights my natural tendency to want to play. Look, when you're playing against some of the hardest hitting, biggest villains in the game, you just have to have Chumper allies. Um, but I actually yeah. liked the combination of allies I had today. I thought it was really good. Like, Sunfire today. Polaris, this was one of the first times I used Polaris. She's great. Three cost that uh, gives one of your X-Men tough. And she's still three yeah. life for three cost and two attack. So, I mean, it's not like she comes out and does nothing. Um, I thought that was really good and really fun. Um, trying to think. Forge for two cost. You get to search for one of your upgrades. So if, you know, you didn't get your X-Jet or had to discard it or Utopia or 
uh, X Mansion. You can go fetch them. Um, that's good. I mean, and later on, who cares? It's still a two cost one one for two. Uh, so I do mm-hmm. like the X Men heroes or, or allies for sure. Uh, Wolverine's one of my favorite though, just because he heals himself every turn. So it encourages you to keep him in play. Uh, and I do like X yeah. Mansion also for keeping your X Men allies in play as well. Um, I think it's a fun yeah. thought. Uh, and all the upgrades for the X Men allies boost them up. So they're really, for the X Men allies, they're really trying to push you away from this one and done. Although they made a bunch of them to cost also. So you don't need to do that. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a weird, you know, conundrum because it's like both. Um, so, but favorite, uh, I don't know. Sunfire was MVP today, but I think favorite overall <laughs> would have to actually, I'm going to go old school. It's another expensive, more expensive one, but, um, Iron Man or, uh, Iron Fist. Oh, yeah. Where you can punch to stun. I mean, it's cool that they came up with the new one, Psylocke, I think it is, that punches to mm-hmm. confuse. Um, but, yeah, anytime you get, you know, stun on a stick, confuse on a stick, uh, it's pretty darn good. So I'm going to go old school and say Iron Fist, though, for my favorite. And by the way, <laughs> chat, feel free to jump in with your favorites as well. Um, there's plenty of people out there. Uh, I think who is my favorite ally? Or just name a bunch that you like, like I did. Don't don't follow my rules. I don't. <laughs> uh, so I, I actually find I like some of the allies that a lot of the the people don't. Okay, like, <laughs> like you. I get like I can see value in in some of the allies that people like as soon as like the ally was revealed. People are like, oh, that sucks. Like, um, particularly where we're getting up into like bigger um, minions that are coming out. Yeah. So like Moon Dragon, like her ability to basically make one minion attack another minion, or I think that you can also aim them at the villain too. Yeah, I haven't um, done much Moon Dragon, but then she killed herself, right? Yeah, yeah. So she does leave play, but like, I mean, let's say you're you're having to deal with um, Modok. Yeah. Um, just have you know one of the minions attack Modok, and he can take the two retaliate. Now is that Moon Dragon? What's the one that? you pay mental resources and you get to draw cards for each mental resource. Is that moon dragon? Which one's moon? Dragon? No, that is That's another dragon. Uh, no, he's a, he's a justice card. Um, let's see. Now I like Victor's answer here because this is a, a, a ally I've never, ever seen played ever in my entire time playing this game have i seen this ally be played and i thought multiple about man it. multiple man i've never ever seen a multiple man deck and i you've love... played multiple man i didn't play it well then because i i like that's I... right because i had to because it wasn't until i told you that when the second multiple man comes in you, you get the third one third multiple man yeah so actually yeah, I would have to go with Victor on that. I love Multiple Man. Like, when Multiple Man first came out, I I really, really liked playing Multiple Man. Uh, um, and- Eros. Er- Eros is the one where if you um, pay two mental resources, you can confuse a minion for each resource that you use. No, no, no. There's, there's another one that I was thinking of where every... Me- I think it's a leadership card. Where if for every mental you use to pay for it, you draw a card. I thought that was no. Moon Dragon. Um, no, Moon Dragon is um, is the one you were talking about. It's, Moon Dragon it, it is looks like a protection. Dragon. It definitely looks like a dragon. Um, oh, you know what? I think it's basic, actually. Uh, by the way, uh, oops, I clicked the wrong thing. It's definitely a dragony looking thing. 
Maybe it's not basic. Wait, these aren't allies. What is going on? There are the allies. Do do do. It is not basic. I was wrong. Moon girl? Oh, yes, it is. Moon girl. I knew it was a moon something. <laughs> yes, moon girl. Uh, for every mental, you get to draw a card. And that's not a dragon, it's a giant dinosaur. But it looks like a dragon. Um, uh, Victor says, and Arden is making me say, and Cosmo. I mean, yeah. Who doesn't love Cosmo? Well, and Lockjaw. Honestly, yeah. Lockjaw is, I mean, if you, the, the ally that has made the most decks of mine, I mean, it, it might be Fury, it might be, um, what's her name that stuns that you played today? Um, oh, uh, Mockingbird. Might be Mockingbird. It might be Fury, but the one I always get joy out of adding to my deck is Lockjaw for sure. So Lockjaw is definitely up there, because um, yeah. he also makes you I... kind of play a basic deck with those power of uh, power and all of us cards, mm -hmm. which are just fun. It's just a fun. It's fun to put Lockjaw in your deck for sure. Yeah, and Vivian. I I love Vivian. When you're playing with the um, uh, the gauntlet, which one's Vivian? When, uh, oh, she's the yeah. So she oh, can blank. blank it. Oh, yeah. Oh, interesting. She could blank the gauntlet, so that means they don't draw yep. cards and they don't. Oh, Vivian's really good against um, Loki. That's who we played a couple weeks ago. Was Loki, by the way. Vivian would have been very helpful because it, it just like takes a long time, right? <laughs> like that's yeah. the problem with, with gauntlet <laughs> games is they just take forever. Um, is there any group of allies that you like the best? I mean, I talked about X-Men earlier. Uh, are they up there for you? The champions, the web warriors, um, Avengers. Is there any like... group for a specific group. guardians um so I'll, I'll talk about guardians while you think about it the one thing i liked about guardians was a lot of them were neutral and that's true of web warriors also but guardians was kind of the first time you saw this where a lot of their allies were or a lot of them were neutral but they could only be played with a guardian character they went away from that <laughs> a lot with x-men um where x-men can be played with anybody even though a lot of their allies are still neutral um and don't get me wrong, they have plenty of um, very, or uh, whatchamacallit, aspect-specific ones. Um, but I did like the fact that Guardians came in neutral, so you could build the whole Guardian suite, no matter who you were playing with. And I thought that was kind of fun. Um, yeah. Um, actually, I think I really liked the different... Um, the different shield okay allies yep um just because they're not necessarily like kind of hard coded i guess to any specific type of of hero yep um but like if you do want to build build a shield deck um they play off of all your other shield cards really yeah. well. And it was cool like how they, they're... like, because shield cards have been around since the beginning, obviously. It's kind of cool how they just kind of threw it in later on. They're like, hey, look, now you can do cool stuff with shield. I thought that was yeah. fun. They kind of did that with champions a little, too. They kind of snuck up on you with it. It's like, oh, yeah, by the way, remember these people? They were champions. It's like, oh, yeah, that's kind of neat. Yeah. Though I, I I hope this doesn't mean that they aren't gonna do some more shield stuff in the future because I really want to see like like at least one shield scenario. Well, they need to build out. Um, well, first of all, having a shield hero would be awesome, right? Yeah. Um, and and they really do need to build out the other aspects. Justice and leadership are really good. I don't know that they have much mm -hmm. in aggression or protection. Uh, maybe I'm wrong because I couldn't remember them having much in leadership either uh which i should have thought of because i think it came out uh well no yeah 
Justice package was pr- pretty strong right off the start. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it would be cool because I don't think I've seen a shield aggression or a shield protection deck yet. Um. But yeah, if you like playing multiple man, I'd love to have you back next time Terrence can't play and see you do a, see you with a multiple man deck cuz I'd love to see okay. multiple man work. Um and I mean we could even do it with Terrence, but I'm getting old and curmudgeonly and like I'm hating playing with three players just cuz the games take so long. Um I mean I I've always felt this way. This isn't new, but it's just gosh, well especially starting so late. Like if we started at 8 and we had another hour of playing, I wouldn't mind as much. But yeah, I mean, I think I remember it coming toward the end of that campaign, the end of all every game. We were all three of us were just like done. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I'm not playing three players yeah. for a while. I mean, if you're at a con where that's all you're doing all day every day, but yeah, I don't want to start a game at ten o'clock at night, three players anymore if I can help it. Yeah, yeah, that's. I don't know. I. Like, I find my sleeping schedule is a little weird, especially now, but, um, yeah, when I get tired, like, I get tired, yeah. and, like, I just, all I want to do is go to sleep. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. You know, um, sometimes I wish, uh, I, I don't have a problem sleeping, I just have a million things I want to do, and I have a million things to get done, so I tend to stay up later than I should. Um yeah. Like tomorrow morning, my daughter's got hockey practice. I should probably get to bed pretty soon here, um, you know, just to make sure I get a full night's sleep. So I'm well rested to hang out with them all day tomorrow. So, yeah, with that being said, unless you have any more last second thing to throw in about allies, I think that's a, a good discussion for tonight. No, I, no, I think I'm good. Well, yeah, that was, uh, that was a lot of fun. Well, yeah, I had a lot of fun, too. Thank you for joining us, Mary. Um, yep. I appreciate it. And uh, who knows? I might kick Terrence. You know, Terrence talks too much. Let's be honest. He's a, he's just a chatterbox. So uh, these discussions go on for, like, hours with him. Like, that was a good, like, 30-minute discussion. You know what, Mary? You might be my new co-host going forward. I'm going to have to get a permanent Mary banner here. So uh, you guys have seen the last of Terrence. So, uh, you know, if you're here for Terrence, don't tune in anymore. It's fine. Um, he's had a good run two years. We're, we're, we got married now. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Terrence will be back next week. This is not a permanent change. This was uh, Terrence had to do some stuff for Con of Heroes, actually, is what they had a, a meeting about tonight. Ah. I do think it is sneaky of the Marvel Champion Monthly guys to plan their meeting on the night they know we stream. And take Terrence away from me. I think that was their way to uh, decrease our ratings. Well, you know, joke's on you. Mary's way better than Terrence. So, it's fine. It's fine. Keep taking him on Friday night. Oh, no. Terrence knows I love him. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, Mary. And we will see everybody soon. Bye. Bye.